Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? For Virgo spirit, messages regarding love. Messages regarding love. For Virgo. We're going to need to know spirit in regards to love. And a huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, your likes and your subscribes really help out the channel. So thank you for that. For Virgo, regards to love. What does Virgo need to know? Oh, okay. We got deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. False self mask. Past life relationship. You have both known each other before. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Interesting. I feel like there's someone that you know, Virgo, that you haven't been completely honest with them about how you feel or you haven't had that conversation with them yet. So you possibly don't know how they feel about you. There could be something you don't know about this person that maybe, you know, maybe it's too early and you haven't really gotten to that point. But there's something here that I feel like you need to know with the deception card. So let's see, what is the tarot? So I'm using the Light Seer's Tarot today. All the decks that I'm using, not the Light Seer's Tarot, what am I saying? The Tarot of the Golden Wheel. All of the decks that I'm using are in the description box. Alright, Spirit for Virgo. Messages for Virgo when it comes to love. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, I'm doing um, a simple, if I could shuffle. I'm doing a simple past, present, future spread. Oh, that's right. I'm not shuffling. I keep forgetting that I just want to cut the deck for Virgo. Okay, so I'm doing a simple past, present, future spread. So let's get into this. For the past, King of Swords reverse. Yikes. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. What? So some sort of opportunity in the recent past here. Some sort of new opportunity, new beginning based on something solid or just like a good offer here. Either being made, being discussed. Sorry, this is bothering me. What's in the present? Hangman, okay. Not a lot of action with the hangman. Nine of pentacles reversed. Lack of security or feeling insecure, not feeling very confident, um, not free, attached in some way. Page of cups reversed, heartbreak, disappointment. But you got such a nice offer. And then your future page of pentacles, something else, okay. The Empress, wow. Growing, manifesting, creating. The King of Cups. Well, that's a great way to end this reading. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So, interesting. Something growing or manifesting in the near future for you, for sure. And I think it's going to start with this really small offer, which for some reason I am picking up that it is tied or connected to this offer here, this Ace of Pentacles. Either this is about a serious commitment or just an opportunity, a new beginning here um, that I feel like is just going to lead to this Page of Pentacles. Let me clarify these energies. So let's get into this for Virgo. 
Let me clarify these energies for a bit though. Tell me about this King of Swords Reverse. This is not a good person to deal with, this King of Swords Reverse. Emotionally cold, um, almost cruel. Could be deceptive as well. Tell me about this King of Swords Reverse. For Virgo. Oh. Ace of Cups. Interesting. So be very careful, Virgo, because I feel like something here regarding love, and it's with someone that's not a good person or is very blocked right now, very off balance. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Fool Reverse. And Nine of Wands Reverse. So it's almost like... And then I have the Page of Swords at the bottom here. Um, again, with uh, something with communication, something with um, whatever happened in the past with this person, wh whoever you're dealing with with this King of Swords reversed. I feel like they're trying to wear down your walls through love. Um, they're trying to... They're, they're master manipulators, so it's almost like they're trying to manipulate their way through your walls or through something that you're very guard like maybe you're very guarded right now and someone here is trying to like work through that find a weakness and it, it's they're using love to do it emotion to do it which is kind of weird it could also just be that you were in love with this person or had some sort of offer from this person but there's something off about this this king of swords reversed they tend to twist the truth, outright lie, Dest they're destructive. So the full reverse is almost like whatever beginning they promise they can't deliver. And with the full reverse also, it's reckless, it's risky. It's it's someone that someone is like they wasn't even planned for. Be careful wh where you step. And this has something to do with like a conversation or something that you see or observe or something like that tell me about the queen of pentacles thank you three of wands reverse tell me more about this queen of pentacles knight of pentacles reverse you've been waiting for something uh virgo this offer i think You've been waiting it for it for a while, almost giving up. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Could also be this has something to do with um, someone who's already in a commitment because the Queen of Pentacles is already in a long-term commitment, typically. So it could be that, you know, someone that's already in a commitment is waiting for an offer of some sort. We've got the moon here, Pisces energy. Again, something here is not right. Have the devil reversed the bottom Capricorn energy. Breaking free of an unhealthy attachment. There's something unhealthy here that I don't think you can see or that you're beginning to see. Some sort of something's keeping you tied to a person that's not good for you. What's this ace of pentacles about? Judgment reverse bad judgment call karmic situation past mistakes that are not someone's not learning from their mistakes tell me about the ace of pentacles reverse i mean tell me about the ace of pentacles it's not reverse spirit why is ace of pentacles here spirit hermit reverse there you are um virgo being extremely withdrawn, not listening to advice. Someone made the, made a mistake with this offer. Uh, they weren't thinking very clearly. Their judgment was blocked. Their intuition was blocked because they didn't know everything. There, there's something here that you didn't know. I'm telling you. I have the moon, the high priestess, and then I just felt it with this king of swords over here. There was something off there. Let's see if I can move these over. Just felt it. Tell me about the hangman. 
Knight of Swords with the Hangman. This is something that comes in quickly, unexpectedly. I feel like while you're thinking about something, while you are um, kind of seeing things from a new perspective, gaining clarity or enlightenment about, about this past situation, here comes some sort of news or some sort of an unexpected communication. Tell me about the hangman, please. Three of swords. Could be painful communication, something that's very disappointing to you. Tell me about the hangman. Four of Cups reversed. Someone has had a change of heart, changed their mind, uh, is interested in something again. But I feel like this is not re-interest because I have here the Death card, Scorpio energy. So it's almost like someone has had a change of heart or change of mind and now wants to end something or change something completely. I feel like this is going to hurt someone else. This could be you having a change of changing your your mind about something due to what you found out, what you see now. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles reverse. What's this about? Eight of Swords reverse, breaking free of a mental prison that you put yourself in. Seeing a way out of your situation, not feeling so attached. Yeah, Six of Wands. So you're going to go after something here. You're going to see the potential for success. Tell me about the Page of Cups reversed. And it's going to be like in the middle of this heartbreaking or disappointing situation. Yeah, where you didn't get your wish for fulfilled. You, there's no emotional satisfaction. Um, you're unhappy. Yeah, and you're going to be healing from that with the star. This is Aquarius energy here with the star. So I feel like um, in the midst of all this, you will find hope again. You'll, there'll be renewed hope about a situation that you had given up on or you'll be healing from a situation in order to move forward. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles reversed. Choice being made here, perhaps. Um, you had to think about this offer. Maybe you were juggling two things, juggling multiple responsibilities, trying to do it all, and you couldn't. Tell me about this page of... Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. So we have now a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups. And she came out upright. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles, please. So someone's going to either make you an offer or you're going to be thinking about making someone else an offer. And I think they're going to be really anxious about this at first with the Nine of Swords. But eventually you'll overcome this, you or the person making this offer. Because at the end of the day, you just want to be happy. It'll be good news, possibly, if you get this offer from someone. Justice just wanted to come out there. That's good. Okay, so tell me about the Empress card. This is Growing Manifesting. Got the sun again. So this sun wants to come out. Tell me about the Empress, please. Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords. I feel like someone had to either walk away to manifest or grow something somewhere else, or someone is um, having clarity about, you know, where their happiness lies. You know, it's it's almost like someone's saying, I'm, I'm going on a journey to go discover what makes me truly happy. And, you know, this is something that I'm being honest with myself about. This is something that I'm seeing clearly. I'm picking up all of those things here. Tell me about this King of Cups. Very loving energy, very emotionally mature and stable. The King of Cups. Strength, Leo energy here. 
Yeah, so this King of Cups, I feel, uh, I have at the bottom of the deck here, the Ten of Wands with strength. You know, someone was strong enough or controlled their emotions enough, had the emotional maturity to let go of a burden. Not easy to do. But this King of Cups, even though he's emotionally mature, even though he's in tune with his emotions, even though he's not shy about expressing how he feels, there's no weakness when it comes to emotion with the King of Cups. Even though he's that type of person, it doesn't block him from making wise decisions. It doesn't hold him back. Um, he's still able to do what needs to be done. This could be you, this could be, you know, this whole spread could be about you, Virgo, or about the person you're dealing with, or a mix of both. So keep that in mind. Tell me about the King of Cups. One more, please. This King of Cups. Ooh, Six of Cups. This could be that past life relationship card here. A past life connection where it feels like you've known each other forever. Maybe you met in a past life and had some sort of a relationship there. Or it could be someone from the past that is still thinking about you. Um, maybe they were deceiving themselves about how they truly felt, like I said in the beginning. Or it could be that someone um, had to go through this whole journey here to recognize what truly made them happy. 